Euno Angusti hoy. Buenos días a todos. Good morning. Estamos encantados de estar aquí y We are delighted to be here on behalf of Pretronor, we would like to say thank you to the Education Department of the Basque Country and the European Alliance for Apprenticeships. Thank you very much for having invited us to be here. And uh, we are talking about uh, VET. Eduardo was uh, speaking and I, as I was listening to him, I felt very, very pleased at what the ministry was saying. Yes, I was very pleased to hear what they were all saying. Today, we're talking about something which is essential for the future because unemployment is very important for young people. The level of unemployment, mainly in southern countries, is very, very high. It is too high. In Spain, it represents 40.5%, 48% in Greece. And in the Basque country, our situation is better. But this has to be improved too. This represents 23.2 percent. 9,000 people below 25 years old in our region are unemployed. So this is the context. And dual training is part of the solution. For us, that is the future. Because we are going to be generating a virtual circle where better skilled young people are going to be coming to our companies. That improves competitiveness. And these businesses, these companies can expand, grow up, and generate the need for more skilled students, skilled people. So dual vet is a strategy. It is part of the future. Let me now explain a little bit about our experience. At the beginning, we were not talking about dual training. We just started trying to do something successful. Please let me tell you, why are we here? and which has been our evolution. We are an oil refinery, an oil refinery in a village, an urban oil refinery between Muskis, Abanto, Ciervana, and Ciervana. And as you can see, all those little houses there, they are our neighbors. We live among them. So that is why we had to be a good neighbor as an oil refinery. Figures, 12 million tons of oil per year. That is what we work with, 220 barrels per day. Petronor produces per minute what a vehicle would require to travel around the world. In the year 2016, our staff was integrated by 1,040 three people. 161 of them are women. I will be talking about women later on. And 680 of these people come from higher degree cycles. So the qualification is very important for us. We need people who are highly skilled. Then we have a further characteristic, and it is that we have 600 people working on a continuous basis with us through different outsourced companies. In terms of training, training for our employees, last year we gave 74,000 hours of training for our employees. That gives you an idea about how important training for our people is. And we are not talking about dual or occupational projects. This is just training for our employees. Since the year 2009, we have given more than 475 grants for students so that they can go and get skilled and trained to be able to work in our reality and that means that we are investing one million we have invested one million euros ten percent of people who have been given these grants are women and these figures are still quite low for us we wanted these figures to be higher 
Let me tell you now about our vision. We want to be, we are a secure operator, we want to be efficient, we want to be an innovative company and mainly the most important thing is to be a good neighbor. What does it mean? Is that we have to be very careful about noise, we want no noises, and uh, we want to respect the environment. Of course, there are legal requirements that we need to respect, but we also need to have this social acceptance. That responsibility is very important for us. So security, the environment, safety and results are closely linked to the skills and the engagement of the people working in our organization. And the best way to learn is to learn by doing. That is not new. That already existed in the apprentices, apprenticeship schools in the Basque Country. Learn by doing. That is something that we have been doing for a very long time. So training is essential. It is within our vision, our strategy, and it is in our DNA. At a certain point, some people were thinking and others were implementing. That is not the case any longer. We need to have professionals, people who are highly skilled, highly specialized, and they should be specializing in a sector of activity, but they also need to have cross-cutting and cross-sectional values. We want also people who are results oriented and who are accountable values and attitudes are essential for us too. In our groups with Confebasque, we always speak about how important it is also to be trained from that perspective. We, when once students are going to be coming to our organizations, for them has to be perfectly integrated. But values are very important for us too values. When we talk about values, we're talking about knowledge plus skills, and that has to be multiplied by a specific attitude. We need to know, but we also need to know how to do, and we need to be willing to make that happen, and always respecting certain values. In Petronor, we belong to the Repsol group, and what to do is important, of course, but the most important Thing is how to do it, how to make that happen. And that is why, again, I would like to highlight the importance of our values and our attitude. What happened in the past? For some years, we saw that we were asking for highly skilled people having cross-cutting skills and with certain values, but what were we being given? people who were very skilled but having a general general skill so when we wanted to go and identify our operators we saw that there was a very important gap there so we have been building and we decided to contact the basque government and for the last 18 years because, well, next year we will be celebrating our 50th anniversary. And it is true that at that point uh, the company was very young, but uh, we have been obliged to renew our labor force. So in the last 18 years we saw that our staff needed something. So we decided to create a training course for our chemical plant operators and then something that happened next and that has been a natural evolution has been dual specialized training. Dual specialized training and that is why we are here today. So what was the goal with those chemical plant operator trainer trainings? So we were getting different uh, VET graduates, but we needed them to learn about the reality of the company. We wanted to be giving them classroom learning, but also we wanted to attract them so that they, they could have a real apprenticeship. And that is why we also had to invest 
in terms of time, they needed nine months to get to know about our activity. So between the years 2000 and 2015, we organized 16 courses. We incorporated 373 people, giving them high quality jobs. As soon as they finished their apprenticeships that period, they were hired by the company. And this wouldn't have been possible without the support of the BAS government. Their support was essential. And we have been working with the Somorrosto Training Center which is a training center in our area. Their cooperation has been essential to make this happening. Yes, we have heard about the different laws and regulations, but uh, and all that is uh, very important and all that had to be respected. So that is why the cooperation with these training centers and with the Basque government has been very important. And it is true that we have, have had some stories of success. Uh, the story of success, the most important one, is the strategic alliance with this uh, professional center in Somorrostro. Because this cooperation and the fact of working hand in hand has been essential. But we still had a problem. We were talking about a highly technical training and it is true that we have engineers and experts in chemistry, but then when we wanted to go down to reality and give this training, maybe it was too technical. And that was something that we had also to adapt and overcome. And then we had an issue and a concern all the time. After all that investment in terms of money and time, there was no official recognition. There was nothing. And we said, well, something has to be done. And then we also saw that even if we were given a highly specialized training, after nine months, people couldn't just start working with us. So something had to be done too. We started dreaming and we said, let's try and improve things. If we want, why not have a club of mentors, maybe people coming from our own company? Why not create what we call this club of mentors who are going to be the teachers and who are going to be working with our students? If we also improve our training approach, because it is true that we are a company, we needed to improve our practices. We needed to get closer to our students. If we also improve our logistic approach and if we have um, students who are thrilled and who feel proud of being working with us, that is what we need to make happen. Security, safety is essential for us. And we said, okay, we are good neighbors. We do not ha want to have a negative impact. And uh, this environmental awareness has to be incorporated to environmental awareness. And then two initiatives were born. We were talking about uh, operators, production operators, but we also wanted to tackle another area, which was the maintenance area. And we generated two different initiatives. We have a course for chemical plant operators who are given a certificate also in terms of the environment. And we have created different dual specialized training activities. When we talk about this chemical plant operator certificate, we want to train people who have that environmental awareness by working with those mentors, giving them an official recognition. And also something that we wanted to improve is to have more women, to incorporate women within our staff in the year 2016. And this year we have already started with the second occupational activity. Now our training lasts for 13 months in a dual format. So the there are there we have classroom learning and we also have apprentices working in our own 
premises and we are incorporating 25 percent of women as you can see 40 percent of the training takes place in the classrooms and 60 percent takes place in the company and now let me tell you about our dual approach i have already told you about the chemical plant operator training but it is true that we also needed to tackle the maintenance department and it is true that at the beginning we thought that uh, we didn't need a specific training for them but we there was a gap in terms of uh, training and needs in this maintenance department so what did we decide to do we started by talking about dual specialized training but in coordination with companies because we were not um, enough as Eduardo was saying our in our fabric there are many SMEs and there are not big companies so we said if we work in coordination with other companies with other companies who have the same needs because they are our suppliers and our providers if we can work in coordination with other training sectors in the public sector and also through the institutions and through the bus governments, let's organize a dual VET system. And to make this happen, it is true that we needed the specialized material, mentors to create the new specialty, to carry out this monitoring process, exams, because once again, I insist, we are not a VET center. So that is why we needed that coordination. We decided to create a specific workshops so that our students could practice their skills. And then we decided to adapt the calendar in the world of maintenance. And I imagine it is the same case all over Europe. Even if we are talking in continuous cycles, maintenance takes place in the morning they start at 7 a.m then at 8 a.m people start working in the maintenance department but students could not come at that point because they were in the classroom if we wanted to combine to have uh, this uh, practical and this theoretical approach we needed to adapt to the reality so that is why i think that we need much more flexible if we want to be successful flexibility is very important too so a specialized dual training this is what we have been doing we have been cooperating with the bus government which has been a great support we have been working with three companies who are three suppliers so at the end this is a win-win situation masa mies masa miesa and tamoin we've been working with those three companies we're also working with public institutions and we are working with this Somorostro uh, teaching sector, which has been the coordinator. Here you can see our pathway, our evolution. So we are talking about a higher degree with two specialties, one for mechanical maintenance and then maintenance for industrial plants. This has been done for 18 students, nine for each specialty, and all this thanks to the support given from the Basque government. And I would like to say thank you to Jorge Arevalo. So what is the situation today? First year, the training sector. In the second year, we start combining company and classroom learning. And on the third year, we are going to be having 1,695 hours combining classroom learning with uh, practices and practical work in our premises. So, in December last year, as we have already said, we have been given an award by the European Commission in the framework of the European Alliance for Apprenticeships. And this is very important for us because we knew that we were trying 
to do something useful, but this supports what we are doing. We want to be more and more competitive, and we think that uh, we are on the right direction. We have to keep on cooperating with different companies and with the government if we want to make this hub happen. And last, I would like to show you this. September 5th, 5th of September, last week, here you can see our students. Here they are working on our premises. This was uh, the first day with uh, labor risks prevention course and here you can see them on the picture. September 8th course for chemical plant operators. 13 men and seven women. Where are the vocational training women? It is very difficult for us to identify them. We have tried to incorporate women in the VET sector. We are making a huge effort. So I would like to encourage all the women. We, as mothers, we have to make this happen. We want to attract more and more women. I wish we had many, many more women working with us as operators. We have very few women working as chemical plant operators. But once again, I think that we are on the right track. Thank you very much.